Ladies and gentlemen, here are the news. Three crocodiles that were spotted in the lakes of the water attraction yesterday caused brief panic among the guests at the amusement park. However, the park administration explained that the animals will be resettled there. They have the situation under control. Hey everybody, welcome back to Planet Coaster and the Project Occasional One. Today we have a lot of work to do on the water ride. In the last episode we started the little spot facing the lake, today we want to extend it. I want to finally finish the bridge and last but not least the queue for the Dragon Roller Coaster finally needs some attention. Oh, by the way, and another attraction is to be open as well. <laughs> Let's do this. I've been holding back on the bridge so far because I didn't have a plan for what to do afterwards. I think I'll stay with these red stones for a while. Mm. Let's declare this as a repeating pattern. The red stones can well be used as a basis for various houses that we are going to build. I'm leaving a little more content in this video today about how I planned the lake bed and later also the small island in front of the station for the roller coaster, the dragon roller coaster with trees and bushes. And here's why. I really like how Planet Coaster deals with nature. But further on, since we are already in the corner with the bridge, I also built a platform for the small pavilion. That's coming soon. Uh, the second shop also needs a facade and, oh, speaking of shops, there will be more of them in this episode after I found out how much space the new flat ride will occupy. For the shops near the ferris wheel, I decided to go mainly light colored facades. Yeah, we are in the kids area here, so everything should probably be colorful uh, but I think I already mentioned that I don't have a knack for child-friendly decoration. Ah, uh, speaking of hands, I'll put mine on the volume control for the music. You will hear from me again towards the end of the video shortly before the cinematic shots begin. So, see you soon and if it's no trouble, press the like button already.
I'm back. I a lot has happened. I spent an incredible amount of time extending the queue for the dragon ride. The terrain was quite uneven, which made it difficult to use the 4x4 roof panels as flooring. A small outer area has also been created in front of the service building. Let's call that an outdoor cafe. Yeah, and you see, I have a similar issue with the flooring in these buildings. I'm rotating a bit here to turn the path into a paved area. That will teach me to make sure that the ground is level before I build anything. And that's it for today's episode. A lot happened in this park, which I'll summarize for you again in the cinematic shots. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day and I hope to see you all again in the next episode. 